everybody, it's Michelle from Goodness Gracious Gluten Free, and I just wanted to show you real quick how I make my harvest salad. Now earlier today, I chopped up a bunch of fall vegetables and I roasted them in the oven with salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil. So I chopped up some butternut squash, some radishes, because if you roast radishes, I'm not sure if you know this, but if you roast radishes, they taste like potatoes, which is awesome. Some multicolored carrots, Brussels sprouts, delicata squash, and parsnips. And so those are all roasted and all ready to go for our salad. And then I have some red leaf lettuce that I washed ahead of time, some pomegranate seeds, red onion. I have a pear apple, but you could use either a green apple, red apple, or a green pear. Some pecans and a little bit of goat cheese. So we're gonna make this delicious fall salad, which would be perfect for Thanksgiving or any time during the fall when all these veggies are in season. So I'm gonna start with my lettuce layer. So I just pre-washed it and um, dried it in my salad spinner, and then I'm just gonna shred it onto the plate. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I, um, I have bacon as well that I chopped and cooked in my pan, um, so it's nice and crispy for the top because the salad is always better when it has bacon in my opinion. All right, and this salad is so packed full of awesome veggies that everybody's gonna love it. I just love the flavor and I love to eat when um, veggies are in season. I just think they taste so much better. The other day I bought a watermelon and it is definitely not in season any longer. All right, so just a nice layer, and you could use any kind of lettuce you like. I just like the colors of the red leaf lettuce because it has kind of the fall, you know, the browns and red and green in there. So I think it looks beautiful together. And I just cut a pomegranate in half and have it as a garnish on my plate. Okay, there's all the lettuce. And then we're just gonna layer the rest of the roasted vegetables right on top. So I have some red onions that I chopped finely. They have a beautiful purple color and I just love how they taste in a salad. I find them a little bit more mild than um, white onions. All right, that looks perfect. And then I'm going to put, so here you can see the Brussels sprouts, butternut squash, um, multicolored carrots and radishes. So I'm gonna take a handful of each, or a few handfuls, and just sprinkle them on top. And oh my goodness, this is making me so hungry for lunch. But this is gonna be awesome for dinner too, or for Thanksgiving. All right, that looks perfect. And the rest of the leftover veggies um, will be for lunch another day. All right, now some parsnips. And you can eat this salad with the veggies hot or cold. It's really up to you how you like it. My veggies are medium like kind of like room temperature-ish, um, maybe a little bit warmer. So, that'd be delicious. Okay, so, I'm gonna have more delicata squash. Perfect, they remind me of little smiles. I love how they look on the salad, because they've got the little smile. All right, now I'm gonna finish chopping up my pear apple, and it adds just a little bit of sweetness to the salad. It's a little bit starchier than a regular apple. I'm just gonna throw that over the top. Maybe one more little piece. So everybody gets a bite. You don't leave anybody out. All right, that looks wonderful. And then I'm gonna sprinkle the pomegranate seeds over the top for that added boost of color. Perfect. And now I'm just gonna rough chop some pecans and I roasted them ahead of time in a pan with a little bit of salt and pepper. So you could do the same thing if you wanted to just bring up that extra flavor in the nuts. I think it just makes it extra special when you give them a little roast ahead of time. You could also do it in the oven if you didn't want to do it on the stove top. You just have to be really careful not to burn them. So once you smell them, you know they're really close to being ready to go out of the heat and be done. All right. So 
So nice rough chop on those. And just a sprinkle over the top. And you could use any kind of nuts you like. I just happen to be a pecan fan. You know, it's funny, I was talking to my husband this morning about walnuts, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm really a walnut fan. And he's like, but I love them, but then I remembered I kind of like them in certain dishes, so maybe I'll try them again. All right, now the goat cheese. It comes in a big log from the store, so I'm just gonna break it up into little um, bite-sized pieces all over the salad, so everybody gets a little bit. And you could also substitute this for feta if you like feta better. Um, I like the soft goat cheese. I think it melts nicely into some of the warmer vegetables. But you can choose whichever way you want to make it. As for the dressing, um, you could make a nice vinaigrette to go with this. Um, I saved some of the bacon grease, and I'm going to make a bacon vinaigrette just to add that extra layer of taste to it. So mine will probably have bacon and some kind of like red wine vinegar and olive oil or avocado oil, just something like that. And I wouldn't use the whole, the whole thing as bacon for the oil base in the vinaigrette. I think that would be just a little bit too much, but just a little bit of flavor would be great. All right, there we go. That's it for the goat cheese. Now that the goat cheese is on, now I'm just going to chop up a little bit of bacon crumbles everywhere. Everybody loves a little bit of that salty bite that the bacon gives in their salad. And the crunch too, which is wonderful. Wow, this is going to be amazing. I am so excited to eat this. I hope you enjoyed this fall salad. You can find the recipe at ggf.me or goodness gracious gluten free on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook.